Hello guys and girls, this is Russian Alex Productions, or on this channel for this sake, uh, I am Rap Tutorials, bringing you another tutorial. Now, before I begin with this tutorial, I would like to tell you, or to say to you, thank you very much, because my best tutorial that I have right now has gotten 13,000 views in the past 7 months, 7 or 8 months, I don't know to be exact, but 8 months. And I would really, really like for you to um, watch my videos, keep on doing what you're doing, because it's working. And uh, I'm switching to this channel, so if you would watch this channel a lot more often, uh, I would really appreciate it. But, let's get to the topic, shall we? So, a lot of people, when they watch my videos, uh, my edits to be exact, they were wondering how I sing the music and the screen effect. Now, by saying the screen effect, I mean um, when the screen kind of goes along with the music and becomes, uh, I don't know how to call it, watch it yourself, kind of bounces with the music, and uh, this effect gives it a little little twist to the actual montage, makes the montage more exciting, look more, um, I don't know, like it's going along with the music well, that's how I can explain. So pretty much. Here's my uh, last tutorial. So pretty much what I wanted to show you, this is my file for that specific uh, that specific edit that I made before. Now, um, I'm sorry guys that my computer is a little bit slow. Hello computer. Okay, there you go. So, all of my key markers right here, if you zoom in, you will see that all these markers are synced with the beat of the song right here with the audio if you look into the audio file you need to pick a song with a good beat and when you zoom into that audio file you will see that there's lines and then the zigzag lines which means that the song actually starts playing there so you have to place a marker there uh, like so by pressing M and this gives you another marker and you can rename it or you can do whatever with it but it's very helpful now when you go into here uh, this is my recorded footage when you go here you click on this footage and then you press event pen crop now as you can see all these markers keyframes right here are um, already synced with the music but for the sake of this tutorial I will delete everything that I have or most of the things that I have and uh, delete the mark the markers let me show you how to do it just delete all the markers right here click on them and delete them and bear with me guys zoom in here and you will see just listen to the music and make your approximate guess the best of your knowledge where you're hearing and where the beat is by placing an M when the beat plays. Like so. So we do not need a lot of markers here. I already overdid it, but um, as you can see, the markers over here represent the music. And I actually missed this one, so let's go to the next one. They represent the music, and right here, if you listen to it, it actually um, plays exactly on the marker, the beat. So, let's do a fresh start. Let's open this video up, delete every marker we have and I'm showing you guys this like I'm editing right now so you guys don't get confused because this video was edited a long time ago and uh, I want to start fresh and show you guys how exactly I did it 
so you can put this somewhere that won't bother you very much and that can be right here I hate how this is set up though and as you can see when I press the marker here it goes straight to the marker and I can sync it up with the marker now what you have to do is line the line up with the marker exactly on the marker and um, make a keyframe here now this keyframe is going to be exactly zero zero offset everything is going to be zero and it's going to be centered what you have to do is go back a couple of frames I I advise you to go back uh, like five frames one two three four five place a marker here oh, five place a marker right here by double clicking and then is this thing out and then make it put it to whatever direction you want it to go so for example oh I forgot to start it off here for a second guys wait for a second so for example this is straight right now the video is straight and for example you want this video to be perfectly balanced and this is my setup right here now if this is the beat if this is the beat as you can see right here so everything sh this should be the center of your effect so when the effect starts right here you have to pretty much pretty much make it straight and then when you reach this point you have to tilt it make it smaller first of all and then tilt it to whatever direction you want to go and then remember how how you counted five five uh, keyframes to the left you have to count five keyframes to the right so it's going to be even so one two three four five make that double keyframe and then change the settings so it's back to being straight and as you can see, it is exactly lined up with the music, the first keyframe. So if you go to the second second keyframe and you follow, follow the same concept that I just showed you guys, right here, put a keyframe here, that's going to be the center, remember that. So let's just say this is not the center really, but let's just say that this is the center right here. You go five keyframes back. One, two, three, four, five. Now you don't have to do five keyframes, but the effect is more visible the more keyframes you do. But don't make it too far away from other keyframe because it's going to be a long effect when you really just want it to be um, effective for a second. Now, as you can see, this is straight. Click on this uh, keyframe and then do it in the opposite direction so it's going to be different now as you can see these black lines show up what you have to do is zoom in that's why I love zooming in and then you count five keyframes one two three four five and then you pretty much do the same thing over again and you follow the same concept for every keyframe and it does take a while trust me it does take a while but uh, as when you get used to it, it's not really going to take a while because you can set up presets. And as you can see, it bounces and it kind of like zooms in. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, once again, this is Russian Alex Productions. And until the next tutorial, you guys, thank you. And thank you for the 13,000 views. All right, peace out, guys, and have a wonderful day.